Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. This question is asking a swimming pool is filled to a depth of 2 meter. How deep does the pool appear to be from above the water, which has an index of refraction of 1.33? Now, let's see how we can figure it out. To find that one, we can use this equation that is, index of refraction is equal to real depth over apparent depth, right? Real depth over apparent depth. Now let's look at the in information provided. So if you look at this one, we have real depth is provided, index of refraction provided, and they are asking how deep does the pool appear. So this is an apparent depth they are asking for. So let's rearrange this equation. So let's call apparent depth uh, AD. So AD is equal to real depth RD over N, right? So real depth, we know that uh, 2 meter. So 2 over index of refraction, that is 1.33. So this is 1.33. And if you calculate this value, you should get 1.504 meter. So that's going to be the answer for the first question. Now let's look at the second question. The second question is asking, a ray of light goes from one transparent material into another as shown in the figure. What can you conclude about the indices of refraction of these two materials? So here we can apply Snell's law. So Snell's law says, Snell's law says that for a two medium, for a two medium we can apply this equation that is n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r, right? But in order to satisfy this equation, there should be three conditions. The first one is if the incident angle is greater than refraction angle, right? In that situation, n2 should be greater than n1, right? And this is first condition. Now the second condition is if refractive angle is bigger than incident angle, then this should be n1 should be greater than n2, right? Now the third condition is if both are equal, if i is equal to r, incident angle and uh, refraction angle is equal, then n1 should be equal to n2. So these are the three conditions. Now to solve this problem, we have to know uh, which angle is bigger in this case, right? So in this case, to find that one out, what we do, we draw a normal line that is like this. And this is our incident angle, right? So this is our incident angle. And this is our refrax refraction angle. No, uh, it should be to the normal. I'm sorry about that. It should be with the normal. Right? Normal means this line we have drawn. So here, this one, this line is normal. So you have to always look at the angle that is normal with normal. So this one is I. This is what this one is R. And you can see R is greater than I, right? So in this case, this is the condition which has to be in order to satisfy this equation. Now let's look at the answers. So they are saying N1 and these three, these things and N1 is greater than N2. So that's the condition that satisfies this equation. And that is going to be the answer. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.